Pressure's been building for more privacy protections on that most public of websites, Facebook. Well, today, Facebook said it is rolling out a new tool to remind users what's private on their page and what's public. The default setting for new users is being changed from public to friends, which means the new users will have to manually choose who can see their posts. It came as quite a jolt yesterday when eBay said that it had been hacked and asked 145 million users to change their passwords. We started to wonder if there's a better way to guard privacy online, and Dean Reynolds had a look. At Keeper Security in Chicago, they charge customers $10 a year to use military-grade encryption that safeguards passwords to personal data. Darren Guccione is the CEO. How necessary is this today? There's words like important and necessary, but we usually use the word essential. The idea of using passwords was hatched 50 years ago in a lab at MIT. But while everything about computing has changed since, we're still using our birthdays, telephone numbers, or spouse's middle name to access the Internet. Easy to remember combinations are easy to steal. According to password manager Splash Data, the most common passwords of last year were beyond simple. 123456 topped the list, followed by password. Yes, that's right, password. Last month, an internet bug called Heartbleed may have compromised billions of passwords worldwide. It's so bad that Jeremy Grant, who heads up a White House task force on cybersecurity, says passwords should be passe. Well, as we sit here in 2014, I think most of us understand the password's alive and well, but it needs to be shot. Thumbprints or eye scanners have been tried as alternatives, but with spotty success. And people just seem more comfortable with passwords. A lot would have to change to adopt a new standard, right? So what we try to do is we take what users have been accustomed to for ages, and we make it really rock solid and secure. In the meantime, Scott, the White House Task Force will be trying to come up with new identification tools for all of us to replace our passwords. And the goal is to do that in the next few years. Dean Reynolds in Chicago for us tonight. Thank you, Dean.